Solve word problems involving addition and subtraction of fractions. As you are working on these problems, think whether or not you can model the problem. Think whether or not you can draw something. What can you draw? And also consider what sort of conclusions you can make from your drawing. As you are working through these problems, remember to calculate to solve the problem and write a statement. So you're writing that statement to go ahead and explain your answer. You should always think whether the answer is reasonable. Recall that we use the RDW process to solve these word problems, where we're reading that problem carefully, we're drawing, and we're also writing that. Here we have the problem. Let's go ahead and read it. Sue ran 9 tenths miles on Monday and 7 tenths miles on Tuesday. How many miles did Sue run in the two days? Let's write that finishing sentence. Sue ran blank miles in the two days. So how many days did she run again? Right, two. She ran not only on Monday, but she also ran on Tuesday. So if the bar represents Monday, and it's 9 tenths, then we have 7 tenths more on Tuesday, which we can represent here within our bar model. And then what would we do with those two numbers? Right, we would add them together. And then so in adding them together, we would go ahead and represent our solution there, and then let's solve it. We have 9 tenths plus 7 tenths, and so we still have tenths. 9 and 7 is 16. We have 16 tenths. Decomposing that, that's 10 tenths along with 6 tenths, so that's 1 and 6 tenths, which we can also simplify to 1 and 3 fifths. So Sue ran 1 and 3 fifths miles in the two days. Let's think whether or not this is reasonable. Yeah, well, we had 9 tenths a mile already on Monday. 9 tenths of a mile is almost 1. And yes, we would add 7 tenths to that. So we could even count up where it's 9 tenths, 10 tenths, 11 tenths, 12 tenths, 13 tenths, 14 tenths, 15 tenths, and 16 tenths. I was using my fingers there to count up those tenths that we were adding to the 9 tenths. And 16 tenths, if I look at my work with my simplification, does fit. So Sue ran 1 and 3 fifth miles in the two days. Maria spent 3 fifths of her money on a game and save the rest. What fraction of her money did she save? Let's write a sentence here. Maria saved blank of her money. All of her money that she has is represented by this bar. And then so all of this is one. And of that one, she spent some of it, and then she saved the rest. So we can go ahead and indicate that three-fifths of this money here is what she ended up spending. And then so the remaining part is what she saved. What sentence can we write for that then? Write one whole minus three fifths. 
Let's rename the 1 as 5 fifths. So that's 5 fifths minus 3 fifths, which does equal 2 fifths. Maria saved 2 fifths of her money. Now another way to look at this is with the variable. We have 3 fifths plus the amount that's saved. Let's go ahead and indicate that as x equals 1. And in solving for that, I know that I can subtract 3 fifths from both sides so that x equals 1 minus 3 fifths, which looks like this over here, where x does equal 2 fifths of her money. 3 fifths and 2 fifths does equal 1. Does it make sense that she saved less than all of her money? Yeah, 2 fifths would make sense. 2 fifths and 3 fifths does add up to 1. Did we know how much money that she had? No, it doesn't tell us that. It just gives us a fraction to represent the fractional part of all of her money. Carefully read this problem. Let's write a sentence to represent our answer. Blank of the cake, which is going to be a fraction, is left. Let's go ahead and draw a fraction bar. And this fraction bar represents all of the cake. All of the cake. So we represent it with a 1. What do we know? Well, it says they cut it and the cake into eight equal pieces. And so let's do that within the tape diagram. Five, six, seven lines to divide it into eight parts. This is the amount that's eaten. They ate Mr. Salazar, Mrs. Salazar, birthday boy. They each ate one piece. So now the rest of it is what is left over. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, and five eighths of the cake is left over. So that tape diagram helps us figure out the answer. Showing our work, we had one whole minus the three eighths of the cake that Mr. Salazar, Mrs. Salazar, and the birthday boy each ate. 1 can be rewritten as 8 eighths, and 8 eighths minus 3 eighths is equal to 5 eighths. Let's think whether or not that's reasonable. We have 5 eighths of a cake left. Well, we started with a whole of a cake, so that does make sense. We can't have more cake than we started with because there's three people that actually ate some of that cake. They ate one piece, or one-eighth, of the cake each. So again, as we're going through these problems, look to see whether your answers are reasonable.